Hello everyone and welcome back to Pass Part 2. Thank you guys so much for all the likes on the first video. I always take a lot of likes as a sign. You'll want to see some more of this game. So we're going to continue today. We're still on Act 1, New Beginnings. I don't know where the hell this game is going to go, but I tweeted you once again asking you for some memes so I can draw them in this game. So we're just going to start painting some more paintings and move on up in the world. You made a painting, mate, but you didn't make art. Wow. Okay. Th thanks a lot. You're... You guys suck. Nobody wants to buy the rest of Lawn Cat, guys. I understand why, but it's still kind of sad, you know? Come on. Steve, don't do this, Steve! Alright, guys, I got one that I want to do. It's the Yi Dinosaur. You know, the Yi Dinosaur? <laughs> Now you gotta remember guys, I only have so many colors to work with here, so it's not gonna look identical to the original. You're just gonna have to deal with it. This is what we're going for the background, and we gotta put some trees in here, okay? Cause the, the Yee dude has some trees in the background, and you gotta do your background first. Paying some bills! Oh no, I just lost 80 bucks, and I still have 1591 cause I'm the freaking man. Listen, can you stop? Can you delete paintings in this game guys? Cause I don't think anyone's ever gonna buy this. God. Next up, guys, is the body of the Yi dinosaur. I gotta go with gray here, okay? Because I mean, he's kind of greenish, but uh, there's not a- Hey! Stop it! I have a feeling this is gonna turn out really bad, but that's the beauty of art, guys. Sometimes it turns out really bad, okay? Hmm, okay. All right, well, it's not perfect, guys, but I guess it's Yi enough for me. You know, all right, well, obviously, we're just gonna go ahead and call this one Yi. It looks a lot better when you're not looking at the original. Just forget about the original. This is transformative in nature. It's fair use, bro. I don't know how, I probably got like a few hundred bucks for this, guys. It's not an amazing painting or anything. Dude, you want something fresh? Check out Yi. It is the freshest, most beautiful painting I have made all day. Okay, get, get on over there and take a look. How much, how much you gonna uh, off for me? For. How much you gonna offer me for it, bro? What you got? 722 bucks. Skillful craft. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Yes. Thank you very much, bro. Now, if you'll excuse- Oh, someone important is planning to visit soon. Yes! The weird French person is coming soon, guys. And they're gonna offer me a spot in some sort of fancy painting studio. I just know it. Okay, I can get out of my whatever the hell this is. And I can move on with my life and do better things, guys. Anyway, let's move on and see what the next meme we're gonna paint is, guys. That was pretty good. 722 bucks. Definitely more than I thought we would get for it. All right, guys. We're going for something uh, pretty straightforward right now. We're gonna do a dick butt, okay? I don't know why there's spots on the dick butt button dick, but there are... Okay, so my button dick is also gonna have spots on it. All right, well, here is uh, here is a dick butt. So go ahead and buy that, okay? And uh, when it comes to these ones over here, I really wish I could just get rid of them, but it doesn't... Hey, look at that. No more long cat. No more long cat. It's gone. It's gone. Life just got so much better. You gonna buy that? You made a painting, mate, but you didn't make art. All right, well, you know what? Art is subjective, and I subjectively want to punch you in the face now. All right, guys. Well, let's go for a, maybe a dabbing Squidward. I feel like that might be a good uh, a good thing to do now. Um, yeah. Just gonna draw in a little bit of bikini bottom as well, guys, so that uh, you know, so the painting has some more in it. I want this painting to have detail because the only way people will buy them is if they have detail. Apparently, you really gotta work hard on them. You can't just do a black and white picture of a dick button and expect it to make a whole lot of money because it won't. Nobody's even gonna buy it. They're just gonna berate me for my terrible painting. So. Let's just make Spongebob's house in the background here to, to get a little bit more money for the painting, okay? Hey, check it out, fam. That's Spongebob and Squidward's house. And now we can actually do the dabbing Squidward in front of it. I don't know how this is going to look, guys, but we'll see. Ta-da! It's dabbing Squidward. What do you think, guys? Is it any good or what? Always looks better from farther away. Always looks better when you're not looking at the reference. Mmm! Dabbing Squidward. I made this all by myself. No traces. This fella has no energy. Boring. Really? Did I seriously just spend all that time making a dabbing Squidward so that you can shit on it? Get the hell out of here, Maggie. I'm waiting for people like George and Steve to get here. People with real artistic expertise. All right. I mean, he knows that dick butt isn't original, and I know it's not original, and that's okay. 
Let's see what you got, bro. How much you gonna give me? Ooh, $1,429, guys. See? This was not a bad painting. Just somebody is an idiot. Even if they did offer me something, it would have been really low. It's fairly well made. Fairly well made. I guess I will dish out $1,400 bucks for it. Bam. Okay, thanks, Steve. It's great that you're here to, you know, put my spirits back down after I make a great sale. Dabby Squidward is sold for 1,429 euros, guys. Wow! Now, when is this person coming to visit me? Huh? I might have to speed up on these paintings, guys. It's taking quite a while. Okay, next up on the list, guys. This one shouldn't be too bad. This is the Dank Meme Elf. Okay? It's a very, very important... Very important elf. And there, I know there's at least one person who watches my videos who has, like, the Dank Elf as their name and avatar, so... Hey, shout out to you. I'm gonna try to make this artistic as fuck, dude. Put a bunch of, put a bunch of character in this background, man. Mm, look at that. Mm, that's gonna sell. That's gonna sell so well. This whole thing has a bit of a rustic feel to it, guys. And that's the way I'm gonna make it, all right? You gotta make the elf look like he's a little bit dirty, guys, okay? He's a dirty, dank elf. All right, not too bad. Pretty easy to make, guys, but I feel like it'll sell, okay? I feel like it has, it has some sort of um, personality to it. You know what I mean? Mm, I guess it's the spray painting. I really wanted to try it out and see how it would go. Dank elf. Mm, somebody buy dank elf, please. Hey, is that you, George? Or is that you, Steve? You guys look so much alike, I can't even tell you apart. Doesn't seem very well made to me. Yeah, that does seem like a George thing to say. I lift Mon Beret for you, 226 euros. I'm gonna turn him down. I think, uh, I think someone else could do better. True art isn't based on skill. I love it, mate. No, you don't. Get the hell out of here. 158 bucks. I gotta, I gotta drink wine. Okay, jeez. At least people are digging it a little bit, guys. You know, it's not a complete waste or anything here. All right, guys. Our next one is Kermit the Frog. We are gonna do Kermit the Frog and, um, what is it? Inner Self or whatever. I don't know exactly what the meme is called, but it's Kermit. And he's looking at, like, a dark version of Kermit with a hood up. And Kermit's telling, telling Kermit to do things. You get the idea. You know the meme. Okay, I know you know the meme. Oh god, so this was a lot harder to paint than I thought guys. I think it's mainly because of all the darkness in the painting This is what I got. I know that this one is absolutely terrible, but we're gonna put it up anyway Someone might buy it if we're lucky. I'm still waiting for the right person to buy dank elf They keep offering me, you know, not enough 158 bucks or so. I want the other guy to come appreciate me. Okay. I need Steve. All right Um, it's a dark Kermit. Can we could just call it dark Kermit? Call it, call it Dark Kermit. Steve says it's too rushed. Steve is right. It is too rushed. Hey, Steve, take a look at the dank elf over here. Steve, tell me what you think. I know you don't like this one, Steve. Nobody likes the dick butt. I get it. What can you do, right? To each his own. Look at the dank elf now, Steve. Take a look. Steve! Steve, goddammit! Monsieur, this tingles my facial hair. I'm gonna let you have it, buddy. 287 bucks, I'll take it. Mm. All right. I was worried it wasn't gonna make money. But it seems like it's gonna make more than the dank elf, which kind of makes sense. Uh, oh, this guy wants to buy this one as well. You know what? Repeat customer, I gotta give it to you, buddy. Thank you so much. He just bought both of my uh, both of my paintings, guys. I am super, super, just flattered. We've decided that you're becoming too popular. Expect expect no more money from us. What? This is the hipster. The hipsters don't like me anymore. Well, Jesus. Okay. I don't know who counts as a hipster. I hope George and Steve don't count as hipsters. George and Steve. George, oh, hey, he's back. Is that you, Steve? I was gonna get you to buy that painting, but now it's gone, so yeah. Hey, when is that person coming to visit me? I'm still waiting on that. Get the hell, get the hell out of here. Get the hell, get the hell away from my dick butt. Okay, there we go, got right on up in there. Come on, come on! There, now I can delete it. Mm. All right, guys, I got a great idea here. I found a better dick butt online. It is much more, um, much more colorful, and I think people are gonna buy it. Okay, so get ready. First, we start with a rainbow. Crap. Technically, guys, I was supposed to start with the background, but I can still do this. I will just, just go around it. All right, now we got a rainbow, and we have some clouds. Good stuff. Up next, guys, is the dick butt itself. It's gonna be, I don't know. We're gonna go with pink, though. Good color for a dick butt. Wow. Now that's a dick butt, guys, but I think we need to add a little bit more here. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put in a little sun in the corner, okay? And it's just gonna be shining his beautiful sunny rays onto the beautiful dick butt, okay? Does this guy not look kawaii as hell or some shit? Oh my god! Um, I'm afraid to put anything else in there, guys. I'm afraid I'll ruin it. Let's just go ahead and hit the check mark. Yeah, everything looks good on my end. Let's go. 
Okay, mm I'm just gonna call this one Rainbow Dick Butt. Ta-da! And look, just in time for this guy to come by it. No? No, he's leaving again. Okay, he's coming back again! Yes! Color's too crazy for me. Crazy old, uh, well, non-crazy old George. We need someone crazy like you, Maggie, or whoever the hell else you could be. We need, we need someone like you to come by the rainbow dick butt. Come on, come on, come on, get over here. All right, guys, this next one is of my choosing. I've gotten a couple suggestions for Pepe the Frog, and I wasn't sure which Pepe I wanted to do, and I've decided I'm gonna do a Donald Trump Pepe. I'm pretty sure the American flag is a whole bunch of stars on it. I'm just gonna put this many stars on it, okay? You know, guys, at first I was gonna say it's not good enough because he looks so damn, I don't know, crabby in the painting, but then I realized it's Donald Trump and he is kind of a crabby dude. So I think this makes perfect sense. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna write MAGA up here now, okay? Okay, I think that looks pretty good, guys. Let's go ahead and pop that down here, okay? And I already know what I'm gonna call this painting. Kavfifi. There we go. Mm. Who will buy Kavfifi? Anyone? Eh, nobody would buy my dick butt, guys. I cannot believe it. I, it makes me so sad. Why are you painting without passion? Because I'm painting Donald Trump, that's why. Steve says, good. And he's gonna buy my Make America Great Again Kavfifi painting. All right, thank you so much, Steve. I really needed this. Oh, guys, he's here. Oh my God, he's here. Dude, buy my dick butt. Buy my dick butt. Buy my dick butt. Come on, Mr. Critic. I see. Oh. Oh. Mr. Critic, no. This is the painting nobody wanted to buy, Mr. Critic. Mr. Critic. Mr. Critic, wait. Oh, shit. Oh, God. He had to see that one. <sighs> Rainbow Dick Butt by Past Part 2. It was only recently that I heard of Past Part 2. A quirky young artist with a passion for growth. As I walked down the crime-stricken alley, I embraced the air of struggle before being entranced by the piece on the table. From a distance, I was struck with the craftsmanship. Holy crap. As I approached the piece, my jaw dropped. As I came closer, it ushered in a sense of childish happiness. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. Upon closer inspection, the intriguing details of alabaster contrasted by the profusion of baby blue reminded me of my childhood. That childhood, you know? The childhood of dick butt. Yeah. The use of blue gave a lugubrious sense of tranquility. Mmm. All in all, Rainbow Dick Butt is a good effort. Past Part 2 has a lot of potential, and I can certainly recommend my readers to visit Past Part 2 in the future. Wow. Wowie. It says progress. Progress to the next act. It's a question. Dude, thank you so much. This promising artist offers an interesting future. Oh my god, thank you so much, Mr. Critic. So now I get to leave. Let's go, check mark. Mm okay, how do I, oh, master the craft. Is he gonna take me out as an apprentice or something? Thank you for loving Dick Butt. Okay, I think the world needs more love for Dick Butt. Act two, pursuing the craft. Oh my god, I actually did it. It took me another hour of painting. I know it wasn't many paintings, guys, but it was good. And I unlocked a new tool. I now have the pen so I can do extra fine craftsman ship. Wow. Wow. I have my own store now, guys. Look at this. The Pass Part 2 store. And I can walk around in here. And there's a cash register. How much money do I got now? Okay. 4,475 bucks. I will take it. Thank you very much. So now I have a place to actually put my paintings up on the wall. Mmm. Nobody's come in yet, but that's okay, considering I haven't made anything. Let's make one final painting for today. I am gonna try and make a Bob Ross painting again, guys. The first one didn't really go that great, but I am gonna try once more. And this time it's gonna go a lot better, and um, just just, just wait and see, okay? We're gonna start with, it's, it's a very sunburst, uh, a very sunburst evening or something in this painting, so we're gonna go with that. We're gonna start with some yellow. We're gonna throw some yellow in here. How does this work? Holy shit! Holy shit! Guys! Guys, this is a precision tool! Oh my god. Okay, delete this. Watch what I can do with this! I can go really tiny, and then I can just drag. And I can- I can do all kinds of crazy shit now. Oh my god. How does this work? Can I use it like- I can just select any size I want. And then I can just drag. Wow. Okay! Okay, okay, okay! Yeah, so you can go really tiny. I mean... 
about the same as before, but you can just slowly drag it along and you will be much more precise now. Oh my god! Okay, so we're gonna start, same thing again guys, we're just, we're gonna start with some, with some yellow, okay? There we go. We're gonna have some, uh, some white in this yellow, because it is a bit yellow right now. We want it to be a little bit more orangey red, and of course we're gonna put some orangey red into this painting. Jesus, slow down the orangey red, dude. Christ. Um, probably just make it smaller, you know? So yeah, we're just, uh, we're just trying to get a nice, uh, a nice sky going here. You know, trying to get lots of passion in the sky, and I think, I think there's some passion in there now. Next up, guys, we're gonna be putting some mountains up in here, okay? Just a few mountains. Just a few tiny little mountains or whatever. I don't know. Now up next, guys, we're gonna have a little bit of a river, okay? And I, I know I know you're thinking like, what do you mean? If it's a river, then why is it brown? You know, but uh, just trust me on this one. This is the way you want the river to look. And with this new tool, guys, we really have mastered the craft. Look at this. Oh, it's so smooth and wonderful. I can't believe, I can't believe I didn't think about this myself. Dev, you are amazing for thinking of this, buddy. Now when we put in our nice blue water, we could just go out along the edge of the bank. Just like that. Oh yeah. Just like that. Now of course guys, it doesn't look much like a river yet, so we need to put in a little bit of, uh, a little bit of waves in here. Okay, just some happy little waves. Mmm, looking good. Now next up guys, we are, um, we're gonna make some happy little trees. There's always gotta be some happy little trees, and of course we're gonna use our i gonna use our new tool for that to make sure these trees are just perfect. This part is gonna take a little while, I would imagine, because, oh, no, 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 wrong tool, wrong tool. That's okay, that's okay. Happy little mistakes. There's no mistakes, just accidents. And just to tie this all together, guys, I'm just adding some clouds up here. Just a little bit of cloud cover over one part of the painting. Ta-da, wow, oh my. I guess it's good enough, I, I don't know. Look, it actually looks really nice from far away, guys. That looks like a nice painting that someone would come to a place and buy. Now, I don't even know how to sell this stuff. Okay, I, I guess someone's gonna come in and try and buy it, right? Let's call this the, the, the Rob Boss. There. Oh, hey, is that you, George? It's George! George says it's too rushed, guys. Wow. Oh, guys, a new person. Look at this guy. Mmm. He looks like he likes paintings. Ha! Huh, all the people I've met said this is fantastic. His name is Don. Okay, Don. I I guess I'll take it. I mean, that's a pretty good price, 1324 bucks. But wait, look at this lady. Holy sweet Jesus, look at her. All right, hey, do you want to buy this painting instead? Maybe give me a little bit more for it? A minimalistic approach. Interesting. Okay, Mary. Get the hell out of here, Mary. Should have took Don's offer. Hey, it's Black Don. All right, Black Don. He is gonna buy this one. A proper investment. I don't know if uh, if this is as much money as the other guy offered me. I think it's a bit less, but it's okay because this guy's name is Giorgio, and that's cool. Here you go, buddy. You can have it. Thank you. The Rob Boss has sold for thirteen hundred and five euros. Mmm, guys, isn't this wonderful? Isn't this just great? I got my own little spot. I don't know if there's maybe an Act Three. That'd be kind of cool. I guess now that I put my first painting up, people are actually gonna come here. Look, I don't have anything here for you, okay? I gotta work on some more stuff, but apparently I gotta make sure it doesn't look rushed or something. Whatever the hell that means. I mean, geez, I thought I was doing great work, but I guess not. Get out of here. Go away. I don't want you. So that's where I'm gonna end this episode of Past Part 2, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see some more Past Part 2, leave a like down below. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.